And the memory of Princess Diana will be invoked again next month when a controversial new children's book blaming her bulimia on King Charles's affair hits bookshelves. Illustrations from the Little People Big Dreams series of reads shows Diana slumped in the kitchen of Kensington Palace with the words, whenever she felt alone, she felt better by eating all the cakes she could find in the royal kitchens. It went on... Even though her life seemed like a fairy tale, Diana soon realised the prince's heart belonged to someone else. Now, the book has sparked outrage from critics, including many sufferers of bulimia. But what do you think? Is it appropriate to put such a difficult subject into a children's book and drag the king's name through the mud? Doing uh, battle on this now is the socialite Lady Victoria Harvey and social commentator Amy Ann Zell. Lady V, is this appropriate, especially blaming King Charles for Diana's bulimia? Because I've actually spoken to a lot of eating disorders campaign, mm -hmm. uh, eating disorder campaigners about right. this today, who tell me that's really dodgy territory and they don't actually think it's making the right point about eating disorders, trying to blame it on another individual. Yeah, I, but it's not just that. I think it's just opening up. Um, giving little children ideas of throwing up and eating cake, they wouldn't even know about bulimia. Mm. Do you, you know, so like, it's an adult so theme. I just think, I, I just think at that story. age, it's just like, you know, people t teaching children now what sex is at age six or seven. I, I think it's too young. It's going to give them ideas now that they're going to think, OK, so if I'm upset with someone or if, when I'm older, my boyfriend leaves me or my husband leaves me, I'm going to go and throw up mm. and eat lots of cake. Because I think that is going to, like, resonate and that they're, they're going to actually have that in their head, in their unconsciousness, and they're going to think yeah. about it. And maybe Whereas they actually would... eating disorders like this are very well, it's complex teaching and them, aren't usually related specifically but it's to actually, marital difficulties. But it's teaching them, oh, this is what Princess Diana has done, so maybe you should try it. So it glamorises it. Yeah, I think a so. Amy Anzal, you think it's great that the book is going to raise awareness like this? I think this series is a great educational tool. I actually have one. Which one? Uh, this is the Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs one. Thank God you haven't bought oh. me the Greta Thunberg <laughs> one, OK? That, yeah, that, that we would be going I think that would be in the bonfire, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it is a great educational tool. My son is really... He's seven today, actually. Oh, happy birthday. Really What's continue. his name? Jacob. Happy birthday, Jacob. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jacob. Named after Reese Mogg, I imagine. Yes, uh -huh. actually, there's... Uh, my son is in the same class as his son, yeah. Sixtus. But anyway, really? uh, yeah. yes, so I love these books. This series is brilliant. And what it does is it addresses issues. So mm -hmm. whether it's bulimia, with Steve Jobs, for example, yeah. um, he dropped out of university, he meditates, he was adopted. So subject matters that children of six, seven, eight years old wouldn't necessarily... So, so you want little seven-year-old Jacob learning about yeah. bulimia, do you? It's, I it's want a him different to, it's topic. That Jacob learns Meditating about it. and throwing up is two okay. different words. Right? Well, like it's not better the same that thing. I'm talking to Jacob about bulimia versus him seeing something about it on YouTube yeah. or Lady, seeing something okay. on the news about Lady it. Lady what, what, one is, thing that concerns me about these is books there right, an is that age, they are very woke. Do you think way? what age should they know about these things? I don't think. Kids should know about things like eating disorders until they're like teenagers. I don't a, a seven-year-old trying to tell them about calories and weight that is going to give them issues. But bulimia it hits puts, people sometimes who are no, six, seven, eight years old. I tell you, it's true. I was looking at the Priory website today, and uh, sure enough, there are children okay. who are six because and seven maybe years their old. parents had it. They, they've got that idea but from someone because a six-year-old doesn't know about... what bulimia is. Uh, can, can I just ask about? the royal side of this, because mm -hmm. one thing I'm aware of with these books, right, mm -hmm. is that uber woke, that prepared yeah. by oh, woke these are super, yeah. they take a woke view on the world. Yeah. And don't you think it's a bit unfair that yet again, mm -hmm. it's the king who is being blamed? Everything connected uh, to anything that Diana went through is always blamed on the king. That, I mean, that is actually, that is a really good point, because we don't actually know that how long how long she had the, how long she actually had this or did she actually have it when she was happy in the marriage at all or did it just happen when you know Cam Camilla came into the picture we don't really know that because we weren't there so indeed i mean diana herself mm. did talk openly about her bulimia battle including in 
the uh, now contested Martin mm. Bashir interview and also in the very famous book, uh, uh, of she, course, written by Andrew She Moore. said it was a cry for help, right? And so, which it's, it sounds like it was a cry for help and she probably, like, it was a way for her to get some sort of attention and... and you know, see a therapist or, or see somebody yeah. and no but one... So, so maybe it is fair yeah. to blame it on Charles then, yeah. in that case. Yes, and it's yeah. OK to make that association. Maybe it was that, maybe it was something else. The author chose to relate it to King Charles, Prince Charles at the time. Yeah. So that's OK, because what they're mm -hmm. doing is they're showing you there is a causation an issue that caused her to yeah, feel that... Yeah, but lots of eating disorder it... campaigners deny that there's any causation. Though. Right. It's just another way to see the issue. And ultimately, the author is bringing this issue um, to the minds of children who need to see it in a, in a sensitive way versus but, seeing it in a sensationalized you, way but, on the news. But do you not think that this is going to give children ideas, though? No, because oftentimes... Like, a is kid being... is going to read that book and, and think, oh, I'm going to look up bulimia and see what this is, and, and maybe I'm going to try it. But usually these are being read uh, with a positive spin, whether mm. it's from the teacher's perspective, from a parent's perspective. Yeah. This is introducing children to some great yeah. people, teaching them to dream big, because that's what this is all about. Be Growing bold, up. be brave, <laughs> right. dream big. And it's not necessarily about the bulimia per se. It's just showing children that this woman, Princess Diana, who seemed to have a perfect life, might not have had a perfect life. I know, life. but that, when they're okay. that young, they... Because look they... what she did accomplish in her short life. But when, when they're small, you have to protect them from the, yeah. the evils of the well, world. You I can't think they're tell exposed them. to so much anyway, because... The publishers have certainly got what they want, though, yeah. which is a hell of a lot of We're talking about it, right?